Amen. Come on. It's a worship Sunday. It's faith offering Sunday. Can we give God some praise right now? Come on, let's put our hands together. Heavenly Father, God, we're so grateful for you. We're so thankful for all that you've given. I pray right here, God, that our gift to you would be wholehearted, would be pure, would be exactly what you want. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You can be seated for just a second. We're going to keep worshiping. Stay in this heart. It's a worship Sunday, so I'm just giving your legs a break. The the What we're doing, worship Sunday, really what worship is, what is worship? Have you ever asked yourself that? What is it? Why, why are we supposed to worship God? What is worship? Is it singing of songs? No, it's, it's more than that. Is it going to church? We're going to worship. We're going to a worship service. So it must be listening to a sermon, right? Is that worship? It must be. The reality is, is worship. We talk about this in our value, Jesus First, It says everything that we do overflows from our passionate pursuit to be with and glorify our God. It says worship is our gift. Prayer, our connection, and the Bible, our guide. What worship is, is a gift to God. In fact, you worship any time you are giving to God. That's why sometimes the way I work can be worship of God, or it can be worship of self, or it can be worship of my boss, of my goal, my, my, with the position I want to be in. And that's the reason I'm working. I'm giving all of this so I can attain to that. As opposed to, I'm going to give all of this and I'm going to do my very best because I know that God's given me a call in this place to represent Him. And I'm not going to be a, a, an influencer of the Lord if I'm the person that everybody rolls their eyes when they have to work on a project with me, right? Like, the reality is, is that I anything can be worshipped. But the question is, we're stepping into Christ. Christmas season. Have you ever gotten a gift that you're like, I did not ask for this. I did not want this. Thank you so much. You're like, wow, I don't know what to do with this. Like, how? I don't want it. And so the question is, is, is not, it, worship is a gift. So then what is the gifts that God wants? What is it that he wants? And scripture talks about it. It says, when, when I go up to his holy hill, what is he asking for? What is he wanting? What is he desiring for me? And this wholeheartedness is a, is a big piece of it. Being all in. Remember the greatest commandment? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. In everything that I feel, and everything, in, in all my motivations, in the de- in the depths of it, in my thoughts, the way I operate, the what, what I'm thinking about, how I think about other people, how I'm thinking and meditating on His Word, and what I'm doing with my strength, the very actions that I go about, I want to be wholly worshiping Him. And so then the question. Is is I gotta be I gotta do what wholeheartedly? Well, yes, be a part of the church. Yes, be a part of the community. Yes, obedience is one of the major things. But one one of the key things that we see in Scripture is when we worship. When you look at in the Old Testament, back before Jesus, you know, thousand years. Uh, sorry. A thousand years before Jesus, so that's like over two thousand years ago to forty five hundred years ago. You see this this story of how to worship God, and when they say I went to go worship, it meant that they would go to the temple, they'd bring a live animal with them, and they would kill the animal and give it to God, or they'd bring their grain and they'd put it up on the altar and they'd burn it, and it is a giving. It's a sacrificial. 
it is in response to because I've sinned or because it's the tithe and it's the first 10% and I, I got to give my first fruits to the Lord to have the whole thing be blessed. The whole idea is that I am giving. And that's what we're talking about today. And so when we move, when we're talking about Worship Sunday and we're going into the faith offering, this is worship. In fact, you could argue that this is more of worship than singing songs is. Because when I give of the song, I can sing a song and not give my heart at all. Ever caught yourself singing a worship song and going away? I actually, I was just like dozing off mentally. And I was thinking about what I got to do for, the, for the, the people that are coming over and the lunch I got to do. And shoot, that my whole, my main floor is a mess. I forgot about, I forgot to clean that. And like, and we're singing songs about great is your faithfulness. And we're thinking about all the things we got to do. That's not worship. God doesn't want that. He's not saying, oh, I just like to hear you sing. All right, so if you're good at it, sing. If you're not, just let find something else to do. No, that's not what God's doing. He wants our heart. And so when we worship, we are giving. And the faith offering today is all about worship. It's about giving. It's about giving in faith. And so our faith offering, really what this is, we have a goal. Can we put up the goal? Our goal for our faith offering this year, last year we got a little over $7,000. We want to double that. And our faith offering goal is $15,000. This is high risk. This is big worship. This is not easy, but what I want what, and what we're going to be given to, I'm going to be mapping out all of this in just a little bit, but one of the main things that we want to do, we got about 100 people in this room, and there's an organization we support called Convoy of Hope, and it does, uh, it, th- this ministry will do disaster response, will come and will feed children, and it has all these different programs that they do, but we want to partner specifically with their Feed One campaign. And Convoy of Hope Feed One is based off of the statement from Mother Teresa that says, if you can't feed 100 people, then just feed one. Well, I want to try and feed 100. I want to try and feed 100 here. We got about 100 people in here. And to feed 100 kids for one year through the Convoy of Hope Feed One campaign is only $12,000 a whole year. $10 for a whole month per kid, 100 kids, 12 months, $12,000. I'd love if we could do that. If we got food on our plate, if we're celebrating Thanksgiving, if we got stuff that we can give, let's give it. And so that's our goal. I'd like to see if we could raise half, at least half of this faith offering today. And all this faith offering does, it flows through us. But what I, we got a little video that I want to show that talks, uh, shares a story of a young girl named Katie who, uh, and, and, and her story of how Convoy of Hope Feed One has impacted her life. a sponsor of our church for me to continue my study and have my meal. (laughs) Sad 
studying hard now um, for my future and someday I promise to myself I'm going to help them and help my community here, our community and our church that and I will and someday become the sponsor of our church. Keep like you guys. So one incredible thing that uh, that we see is that how you minister, when you minister to someone, you you actually have to first approach their physical needs. You got to show them love. You got to show them hope before you ever talk about the spiritual needs. So I want to, and Convoy of Hope is is such an incredible organization. I want for us to uh, to take this chance together as this faith offering. And this is only our second year doing a faith offering. And so I want to talk a little bit about the faith offering, really what faith is. Now we see James 2, a couple weeks ago, if you guys remember for Collective at Home, James 2, 26, we talked about this. It says, just as the body is dead without breath, so also faith is dead without good works. And we talked about how faith Really what faith is, is, is that we don't have a faith, we don't have a belief problem in our world. We have a faith problem in our world. Faith is belief in action. I can believe something, but if it doesn't change the way I act, it's actually not faith. And I gave this, this video of my two boys jumping out of a tree uh, into a, gi- a giant pile of leaves. And I want to call back to that for just a second because really what this is, faith is interesting. Faith is not always in action in terms of like really flexing the, our faith muscle because when I go to my boys and I say, hey, I want you, uh, trust me, we built this huge pile of leaves and it's going to be safe. You can jump out of this height of the tree and you can jump into the pile of leaves and you will be totally fine. And so what does that do? It gives them an opportunity to put some belief to this. Okay, yeah, I think that makes sense. I think that makes sense. Okay, do you want to do it? All right, I'll try it. That's when faith starts. That's when faith starts. See, the the reality is that uh, Abraham, who's known as the father of faith, God didn't say, hey, Abraham, would you be willing? Just wondering, curious, would you be willing to pick up all that you have and move into some other territory? And uh, would, would you be willing to do that for me? Yeah, yeah, I'd be willing to. Cool, cool. That's, that's all I want. I just wanted to check. By the way, here's a nation. Here's an entire kingdom. There you go. I just wanted to make sure you're willing. You said yes. No, faith is action. It's not even just willingness. It's actually doing it. And so we can get the video. And so my, my boys get ready to climb up. They're climbing up this tree. We can pause it real quick. Pause it real quick. And this is where faith is starting to grow a little bit. And there's a big pile of leaves underneath them. And they're staring down at it. And they're like, okay, this is a little scary. It's a little frightening. I'm not sure exactly what, if this is going to work. And my faith is being built. But the crazy thing about it is that faith only has a short period of operation, of, the, of its greatest operation. Because once they land, they're safe. And even if they do it again, there's not as much faith in operation. When you land and you go, oh, I'm okay. There's not much there, it, it, that builds our faith for the next time so that it doesn't take as much faith. We aren't quite as scared. But the reality is, is that the key point when faith happens, let's go ahead and press play on that. The key point when faith happens is right here. Pause. Whoo! Right there is faith because I believe it and so I'm going to jump but when God asks us to do something in faith 
We have a period where we're hanging in the air and we are pretty sure he's going to come through. I'm, I'm, I think he is. I've seen him be faithful before. People keep saying he's good. I've been good. He's been, but I actually am not positive because I haven't landed yet. Because I haven't gotten to the end where I've gone, wow, he is faithful. He is so faithful. I can put my faith in him. And this season for different faith actions may be different. For one faith action, and maybe I got to have that conversation. And so I go, I have the in-between, I have the conversation, and that's my jumping. By the end of the conversation, I go, wow, God was faithful in that. And I've already landed. There's other times where I go, I'm going to do this. I'm going to step out on faith. And it may be years that I feel like I'm hanging the air on that one. For Abraham, 25 years. I go, and I'm pretty sure he's faithful. I'm pretty sure this is going to land. I'm pretty sure this is going to happen. But the amazing, go ahead and press play. The amazing thing is that we know that I got to hang on to the unknown of going, yes, I will land. I will be, I will find my way to the end of this and it'll be amazing. And I will celebrate and I'm going to go, wow, God's faithful. And so this is, this is that celebration. Look at his smile. Look at that. And so in the same way, I want for us to flex our faith muscle in the same way, our generosity muscle in the same way of taking something and going, I want, I want to give a little bit more than is comfortable. I want to, and all of this, we'll talk about this in just a little bit, but all of this just flows through what we're doing, who we are. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and hit on that. Really what we're doing uh, is, is for the faith offering. All of this goes into a big mission bucket. In a big mission bucket. And really what this is, when you go and you give online, you can see that I can give to the faith offering, I can give to the mission. Really, that's just our way of being able to track so we know how much came specifically for this. But the faith offering goes into the mission bucket. And what that does is inside that bucket, we got a whole bunch of little buckets. Right? We got different ministries that we're supporting. One of them is Convoy of Hope. When you get that one back up and we see Convoy of Hope, we got the Feed One campaign. We got, uh, uh, go, go back to some of these other ones. Convoy of Hope, CMN. Can we get that one up? Church multiplication. Here we go. They, so we were, CMN helped to plant collective church. They helped to give funds, training, coaching, long-term. I'm still, we st- I still talk every month to my CMN coach about, hey, this is what I got to do. I don't know what to do. Can you help me out with this? I'm, I'm feeling encouraged. I'm feeling discouraged. All of that's through CMN. I see that the way to advance the kingdom of God is through church planting. And so we want to support church plants, and we actually want to plant a church as well ourselves. So CMN is one. uh, We we got another one that we got. Oh, uh, we got this couple. So last time they came up, they came up on stage. I'm not going to say their name because the closed captioning will uh, speak their name. But you guys can see it really They are in a country where it's pretty dangerous and it's very easy to get kicked out for giving the gospel and for being a missionary. So you can't write their name and missionary in the same document. It'll be seen and people and and it'll raise questions and it'll it'll uh, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll lose their visa opportunities. And so really what they're doing, they're going to a place where like less than one percent of the people in this nation know the Lord have heard the name Jesus, follow Jesus. It's crazy. And yet the majority of the money that goes through churches, 99% of it goes to places that already have access to the gospel. If someone in Kyrgyzstan goes, I kind of want to figure out something about this Jesus guy. They got no place to go. Where, where do I go? What do I do? Here, I want to figure out this Jesus guy. I just passed by three billboards that tell me I can go somewhere, right? And so there's access here. And so I want we, we want to make sure that as a place and as a church that operates in a city that has access, I believe part of our call is to funnel funds through to places that do not. 
And so that's what that's what we're doing here. We got can we get that list of other uh, so other ministries that we want to support? These are groups that we want to support. That we go, hey, if we can increase our mission fund, we're going to support Project Forty Two, which focuses on access for the unreached. We want to help support Chi Alpha College Ministries here locally. We got local projects and needs that as they come up, I'd love to be able to go, hey, we can help out with that, right? International projects and needs. I've gone to some of these missionaries and gone, hey, what do you need? If you have something that's like in a reasonable range for a church our size, can you let me know? If you got a $200,000 something, we can help, but we probably can't fully cover that one quite yet. I want to get there, but, uh, and then also we want to multiply. All this is about is flowing through and multiplying. We want to have our own facility. Amen. Right. We want to raise up church planters in here, and we want to plant another church in the first five years of our church. We want to send out a missionary. We want to send someone out to a place that doesn't have access to the gospel and to go, hey, we, they, they were raised up in our church. We're sending them out, and we're sending crazy support. And so the, the, the reality is, is that we got things we want to do. We got things we want to flow through us, but... We got to give generously. So 10% of everything that comes into the general, the tithe, collective church gives into mission. And 100% of faith offering and mission goes directly through. So this offering is not about help me, help us, help us. It's about let's go. It's going through our hands. And we are the funnel into the kingdom of God. And if we're not doing this, then we're missing it. Part of who God has called us to be is to live outside of us. So this is our worship. Can we stand up? I want to pray. I want to worship. Can we get the the faith offering slide up real quick? Faith offering slide, and it's got uh, the QR code and all that of how to give. What I want to do is to worship here for a little bit. And if you can scan the QR code, you can text faith to 402-251-2510 or we got boxes just outside the auditorium. What I want to do is I want for us to worship right now in giving. Let's give sacrificially. Let's give in faith. Let's flex that faith muscle and that generosity and going, I'm going to take a little bit of a risk. If you need to talk to a spouse, you need to take some time to pray, but this is our time to worship, to give. Heavenly Father, I just pray right here. I pray that God, you would move through us. God, I see how you move in us. And man, I'm so grateful. But I'm also so grateful that you didn't call us to stop there. You said, I want to move in you. I want to move through you. So Lord, I pray right here. Would you accept our worship? Would this be the gift that you are wanting, that you are asking for, for a wholehearted, sacrificial gift that says, God, my finances are for you, not for me. God, my finances are for the kingdom, not just for my little kingdom. God, my finances are for the gospel around the world, not just for the church in Omaha. So, Lord, we believe it. We're excited for it. We find joy in generosity. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's worship God through giving.